Evelyn, our next person on our list is Constanza. Constanza. Oh, how lovely, how lovely. Uh, Constanza Abuleish is one of the leaders of the eco village Sekem in Egypt, in the Nile Delta. And uh, they hosted our 2018 Dignity Conference in Egypt. Welcome, Hello, Constanza. Hello, my dear friends. My name is Constanza Abuleish. Uh, thank you very much for having me and inviting me to post this message. I'm living and working in the Sikkim Initiative uh, in Egypt for 40 years now, around 40, 40 years. Our core is the human being. Everything we do is done uh, for and from and with people. This is why I'm here, actually. We have companies and we have a school and a medical center and the university, etc. But the center of all and the reason for all we do together is people. The human being is a miracle. I think we can all confirm that. Uh, each one is an individual, different and unique. And although we know that, we normally and unconsciously believe and act as if they were all like ourselves. And if they don't, we believe they misbehave, we believe they are doing evil, and we also believe they are doing it consciously. I have seen a lot in this world, I think, but I cannot say I saw anyone who does evil on purpose. Many people might do wrong, wrong. This is another issue, uh, including me, I suppose. But no one wants to destroy nature, see people starving and see children suffering. Consciousness works individually and differently. People see or don't see different things than others and put different priorities. Uh, and normally we don't realize that, but we argue and fight, which on the other hand is again misunderstood and normally fought back. Uh, and there the vicious circle starts, and this is where we currently find ourselves in. There are many different uh, consciousness levels and layers out there and traditions, and we can say they speak different languages. There is a barrier in between people which prevents proper understanding and ends up in fights and in wars. And intellectual preaching for sure does not help, even if presented with the best and most logic background. The only thing we can do about that, I believe, is practicing empathy and love. We are lacking real, deep and personal interest in the other. I know this sounds on the one hand crazily naive and on the other hand totally clear. Everybody knows this. Well. I think it is one of the hardest thing we can achieve as humans. It means that I connect to others, understand the difference and what they need me to do and act accordingly. Not act as I want to, but act as they need me to, with the aim to achieve what we both and all want to achieve, which is development. I want others to understand me, so I should aim to understand the others. But the thing is, I cannot simply change the others as I wish. I can only change myself. Understanding this is one thing, the first step, which makes me humble and incredibly grateful. Acting accordingly is, as mentioned before, a hard, hard learning. But in my opinion, the only way to come forward. That is my message, an obvious or visible secret it's a secret of life, maybe, and if not the, for sure, an important step towards transforming humiliation and violent conflict. Sending you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Constanza. I think it, this reminds me, as Evelyn and David Yamada pointed out, that all roads lead to love. And the big type of love that Evelyn talks about that includes the world, 